So if, if you're coming out in the area and walking around and want to get off the road there, you want to be sure to take a can of bear spray with you. And you spray it on the bear, not on you. This is not mosquito repellent. This is a bear repellent for the bear. <laughs> And I want to start by laying down the main lines of the composition using a water-soluble colored pencil. With that in place, I can use the palette of colors, white, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, Venetian red, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and black. And I can use these darks in the stream to immediately get a sense of where the darks are in the scene. I'm using a synthetic flat, about three quarters of an inch. I can save the light highlights for last, of course, and just at this point, concentrate on some of the bigger gradations. Once I start to add white into the mixtures, it gets a little bit more opaque. Transparent color tends to be more variegated and textural in terms of the variety of tones, and opaque color is flatter. And now that water has a lot of ripples, light blue in the bottom from the sky, and then darker values where it's reflecting uh, some of the foliage. And notice that vertical stretching of the reflections. Now the wind is picking up a little bit and now it's starting to blow on my easel. If you watch closely, I have a bit of a loose grip on my brush and when I go to adjust the diffuser, the brush goes flying. Now I'm painting the ripples in. This is the dark of the far bank over a lighter blue of the sky. And you can see how those two color zones interact in a network of zigzagging lines. I paint those with the edge of a wide flat brush, some with sort of dashes and some more zigzaggy. So the task in painting is to find ways to invent the textures that you see to really represent them and translate them into paint. Nature is infinitely more complex than you can possibly ever render in a single session. A sketchbook full of color studies like this give me a catalog of effects of color and light that I can draw upon in whatever work I do later, whether it's a finished landscape painting or a fantasy painting or just having this record of a day spent outside. Hi, hope you enjoyed. There's lots more videos at any of these buttons. And this is just a sample of a longer form DVD or download that you can get at those buttons that say Kunaki or Gumroad in the About section. Thanks for coming by.